Greetings, people of all ages, and welcome to the Monday, 16th, December 2019 meeting of the IPFS Documentation and Developer UX Working Group. I am your official, unofficial leader, Jessica Schilling. You can find more information about this call, why it exists, and what we are doing by checking our GitHub repo which is github.com slash IPFS slash docs. That also includes a link to the document that we will be going through during this meeting. So if you don't feel like squinting at your screen, that is a good way to not have to do that. I will start by sharing my screen. Can you all see my screen? Perfect, all right. Um, so this is probably going to be a fairly quick meeting. Um, if anybody is listening from the outside world, just a heads up because of the assorted winter holidays and so forth, um, we will not be meeting for the following two Mondays, uh, which I believe are Christmas Eve Eve and New Year's Eve Eve. That brings us back to our next meeting. Let me bring up a calendar. Our next meeting will be taking place on Monday, January 6th. So enjoy the time off and we shall see you on the 6th. Um, the purpose, can I shorten my shared window? I sure can try. Is that better? Cool, all right. Um, so um, the purpose of this meeting is to talk through our OKRs and see our progress against them and see how we are doing as a whole, since it is very nearly the end of the quarter, we have finished most of the things associated with our OKR, so hopefully this will be a reasonably short meeting. Um, that said, we do have one one-off item um, that I was just alerted to this morning, is that OKR grading and um, OKR grading needs to be done by Friday. OKR retrospectives also need to be done by Friday. Um, our OKR sheet is graded. There is a link to that in the agenda. Um, thank you, Terry, for wrapping yours up as well. That was awesome. So that is done. That is on deadline. Um, please note, though, there is going to be one other request that um, that I personally have for you is that um, please add any thoughts or contributions or comments on the retrospective issue. Um, so. There's a master issue for working group retros that is linked to in the document that just says every team should put together a retro document. I will do that as soon as we get off this call and link to it um, in this um, Google Doc and then also just ping each of y'all who are on the call individually so that you don't have to worry about it. But um, please just gently read through the document, add your comments and questions, something we need to have done by the end of the week. Does that make sense to everybody? We've all been through this before, except for you, Johnny. It's pretty straightforward. Cool, okay. Um, so the rest of this meeting is really just about wrapping up our, our OKR items, um, Docs Beta Launch. Um, this, is, this is so, so close to being done, which is amazing. It is being tracked in the milestone that is linked to in the notes document, and as you will see, there are only four things in there, which is amazing. Um, let's talk through them one by one. Um, call out links between legacy and beta pages. This is actually done, um, this is sort of a non-issue at this point. It's just a note to say that the, the PR for putting links on the legacy site to say view this page on the beta site, we will need to remember to merge that PR the night before launch. However, the directive to do that is actually in the comms plan. So. Um, I closed the callout links issue, so we should be totally good to go on that. Um, whoops, I just moved notes around. SEO, meta tags, Chris, you wanna talk about that? Uh, hi, uh, yes, it's uh, on the main to-do list for this week. Um, and it is also the last week, <laughs> so one of, one of many things, but uh, I, I've looked at a couple of plugins that we uh, are available to us to basically merge the metadata together, so then we have to repeat it, because um, currently the way it's implemented uh, on that PR is just that we've got uh, multiple tags for different social networks. We want to make sure that propagates up for um, uh, from one tag basically into the main header content. So um, that will be, as I say, done either tomorrow or today, um, depending on um, how much more we get through. Um, is there any manual cleanup of that that I can help with? 
Uh, it depends on what tag we'll use as the as the main anchor tag in the, in the end. So um, until I know exactly which, uh, it's it's probably not best to change that PR. But um, it should be more of a find replace uh, situation than a, than actually but manually editing too much. So um, it should be easy. Cool. Let let me know because I mean I can search and replace just as well as you can, and you have better stuff to do than that. <sighs> cool. Um, comms plan, like we said, the content is drafted, everything's ready to go, we just need to have the date pinned down. I've left this issue as open and as blocked as such, just because that's what it is. Um, but, but the actual legwork, other than the monitoring post-launch, is, is completely done. Um, IPFS hosting, we had a decision made on Monday of last week or Tuesday, perhaps was it Tuesday last week? It was last week, um, and, and the launch timing will move out probably into January as a result. Um, Chris, do you want to talk about where you were at with this right now? Yeah, sure. Um, so this is going to be dependent on um, the work that Hugh and I are going to have to pair on. So we, we, first we need to do uh, the next step, which is a quick evaluation of what um, uh, what functionality we may not be able to cross over in terms of migrating to a full static site. Um, the, the Some of the components that we're using now are obviously um, very heavily uh, JavaScript dependent. So the search modules, for instance, the metrics we're doing, the help wanted feature. Um, so all of these, we, we've got to put like a consolidation plan to make sure that we can, what, what functionality we can retain and what things we might be at risk um, of migrating across. Uh, I did one quick experiment, which was uh, to use the um, VPress dehydration plugin to basically set down the, the app code into static content. And that works to just boil it down into a full static website. So it could be that we'll, there could be an alternative plan of basically deploying a secondary version that is entirely static just for IPFS users and then having a more uh, functional web app uh, component that will just be hosted uh, at the main um, at the main entry point from uh, docs.ipfs.io. So that plan will be uh, finalized this week. Um, and uh, depending on other tasks and things with the OKRs, then we'll work on whether this this, this actual development work goes into next uh, Q1 as a big task, or whether we can make a, some headway on it this week. Um, is there anything that anyone else on the team can help with regarding that to free any of your time? I, I think it's it's highly dependent on uh, us doing some experimenting. Uh, so really, it's uh, yeah, anything that will help is might be freeing me up with other to other tasks. But um, the main ones that I have to wrap up are the just the, the couple of things that are open now, the SEO things and the metrics, which I'm, I'm running through at the moment. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Do you want to actually jump down to that? Yeah, if I, so if I keep my, pl if my plan pretty clear this week, then those two uh, tasks will be finalized and merged and, and tested. And then the actual next component of that will be uh, obviously doing the hosting plan, um, along with any other wrap up that we need to do before the end of the year. Um, for the metrics side, we have, uh, well, I'll, I'll first start with what has been implemented and is now live from last week, which was the um, help that uh, this information is helpful widget, um, which is used in more than one place. It's used for every page uh, page content. Um, uh, maybe Jessica can share on the, the live demo. Um, <laughs> and, yep. So you'll see it at the bottom of every, every piece of content now. So we've got a new uh, metrics widget, which posts back and also integrates with uh, GitHub for the issues and opening tracking issues if we need it. Um, this on the content stub page as well, we, we use the same, um, uh, the same functionality to basically track whether or not people are interested in uh, upcoming content. So uh, we have to now pair that up with the data studio um, dashboard so that we can then get some visibility of those tags. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's nicely implemented and we can start using that as our, our, our main narrative for working out which content is successful. Um, I think that's all that's on that PR. Oh yes, no. So I'm currently working on the additional uh, metric tracking, which is the uh, external outbound links, um, they they that has been implemented in the PR now, and the final one, which is any query uh, page queries that we we've got from the search, um, uh, some tricky stuff around that is kind of uh, because there's there's no primary action that defines what uh, when a search is executed. Um, basically, kind of figuring out how to track so track um, the, the last query that was used when a page routing basically takes place. So I think what will happen now is that if someone puts some information in the search box, 
and then there is an action, action on the site that navigates to, uh, to a route, then we'll define and grab the last search, met, uh, search term, so just to make sure that we have some indication of what they were using to connect one page up to, um, to something else. So that will help us then in the future to refine some of the copy that we need um, to, to help that more accessible. Um, yeah, uh, so that will be wrapped up today because that's nearly, nearly finished now. I've just been pushing some commits that this morning. Um, and then the Data Studio uh, implementation will be um, added this week. Thank you. If there's anything I can help with with the Data Studio implementation, you know, if you want to just like do one of a repeated thing, I can figure out how to do the others of the repeated thing and so forth. So, yeah. yeah, it might be useful to show uh, at least one other member on the team how to create that so then it's easier in the future if you want to segment that's it would be awesome yeah hit me up in whatever whatever way is going to make that easier for you yeah. sure um aside from proto school the only other thing is the docs dep deprecation plan um the plan document you can see here thank you to everybody who weighed in we actually had a really good conversation um keeping in mind this is really to be used in potentially q1 or whenever we end up feeling ready to deprecate the legacy site um these are all relative dates um and they're not necessarily in exactly the order that they need to be done but this is giving us an idea of the scope of work that needs to be done in order to deprecate the site uh we ended up having a really interesting conversation vis-a-vis -vis renaming repos and how we wanted to handle that um and whether it made a sense to rename the beta repo back to slash ipfs slash docs or whether we just wanted to do something else um, those issues are not completely resolved, but I think we've sort of set all of the parameters of that on the table. So as a result, I've closed that um, on the knowledge that when we get down that point, we're just going to have to have a, a, a finish up that discussion. Um, it's not really a discussion that we need to have right now for something that we're not necessarily going to implement for a while yet. But it does know that, but, but we do have at least sort of all the parameters of the things that we will need to do or need to consider laid out with um, relative timelines we sort of like two days or two weeks or whatnot so thank you to everybody who contributed to that that ended up being a really interesting conversation um so that that issue as well as that epic are both closed um and that leaves us with proto school yeah so the biggest thing that we've kind of crossed off our list this week is reviewing the IPFS camp content to see where it might fit well into proto school so what Jill and I have done is to go through all of the core and elective courses, which seem like the best format to target. Um, if people have suggestions from other formats of sessions, unconference discussions, et cetera, please do feel free to comment in the issue that's linked there. Um, but we're gonna consider it wrapped up based on looking at those core courses and figuring out what, what we can do with them. So we'll be closing out this issue soon, but opening new issues based on the specific changes we wanna implement. And that'll be a key focus in Q2 for us, including building some, you know, purely new content as well as updating some of our existing content with new graphics and such that were created for camp. So that's really exciting. And that's one of our key OKRs for Q1 that we're wrapping up, for Q4 that we're wrapping up. Um, and then we mentioned this last week, but we've actually merged that PR that improves the end-to-end -end testing. Um, we have a couple of other PRs in the works, including some great under the hood stuff that um, Alex contributed, that Jill has updated, um, with error handling, stuff like that. And then the biggest place where my time has gone this week that's not here because it's less docs related is looking at our chapter leadership model. Um, I've sent out a couple surveys on that. So if you are out there and are someone who has either led a chapter or has had an interest in running a proto school workshop in a more one-off thing that doesn't really fit with the current model. We'd love your feedback in either case. There are two surveys out there now. Um, that's it at the moment. Awesome, awesome. I'm gonna stop sharing the agenda because I think we talked through every item on that agenda. Um, I guess just a couple of other things. One, we are sort of noodling over um, Q1 OKRs, but we're waiting on some larger ideas from the main org that, that may shape um, just sort of what our what our team as a whole might be working on. Um, so those, the, the Q1 OKR work, as best I know right now, is being pushed into the sort of first and second week of January. Um, so just, just an eye out, you know, we've had some good discussions on our tentative OKRs, um, and I think we've come really, really far on that, so that is awesome. Um, but just, just sort of a heads up that probably we're gonna start opening up that discussion as soon as the new year starts up again. Um, to maybe let that all sort of rattle around in the back of your minds. Um, additionally, if, 
if heaven forbid, you know, we are all, we all have different approaches to the winter holidays and we are all taking off different amounts of time for the winter holidays. Um, if you, heaven forbid, run out of things to do, may I suggest that this be sort of just like playground time to you know, pick off your, pick off your pet issues, look at the board, see if there's anything that sounds like something that you'd wanted to think about or fix but didn't really have time or didn't fit within an OKR um, would be my suggestion for the remainder of the year for those of us who are around for much of the remainder of the year. Um, I will, as soon as more is known about Q1 OKR structure, go through and like groom that entire board and, and unlabel things for Q4 related OKRs and relabel issues according to our Q1 OKRs. So you'll probably see the board sort of being in flux um, as that regard. If anything feels weird or um, you feel like anything's getting lost, please do let me know. Um, again, that probably isn't gonna happen until like the first week of January now until we know a little bit more about OKR stuff. Um, and then I guess finally, um, just since this is the last time that we are all going to be in the same space, um, I personally, as the person who talks the most in all of these meetings, wanted to say thank you to every single one of you, one, for listening to me drone on over the course of the last six months, but two, I, I just want to get out there like a huge job well done. If this had alcohol and not coffee in it, I'd be toasting you um, because we spun a team out of absolutely nothing at the end of June, and now we've done some very substantial, very public facing and very useful work that is going to hopefully benefit the community more and more in 2020. So yay, everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and I don't know if anybody had before, before we kill off the recording or break the meeting off, does anybody have any, anything else for, for posterity, anything else that we should add to this last meeting of the year? Chris Waring wants to eat Portugal. Alrighty, well, I- Celebrate pastries. <laughs> gonna look really good. All right, I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end the recorded part of this conversation so that I can get this up on the YouTube.